Hey, welcome back to Tech Leveler. I'm Lee, and today I have another Amazon Fire Stick tutorial. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to install the newest Kodi Omega version 21, which is finally here. If you're going to install any third party application like this on your Fire Stick, you're first going to need to jailbreak your Fire Stick and then sideload the application onto the Fire Stick. Don't worry, it's not as difficult as it first sounds and I'll walk you through step by step how to do it. Now at this stage, now before we get started, if you already installed Kodi, I recommend you watching this video here, how to update Kodi properly. Because if you don't update it properly, you can run into many errors. And the first step is to install Downloader onto your Fire Stick. So let's install Downloader. If you're not currently on the home screen, press the home button on your Fire Stick remote and then navigate to the find option here. Then come down and select the finder option and then let's type in Downloader. Once you type a few letters in, you should see it auto populate underneath here and you can come down and select Downloader and this will take you to the apps. And here you can see Downloader, so we want to press this. Then you'll take in to the Downloader download page and you want to press this little button here to get it and then it'll queued and then download. If the first time you ever download an app, this will pop up. You can read it and then once you've read it, you can press got it. And by the time you've read it, Downloader should have downloaded and you can launch it by pressing the three little lines on your remote. However, don't launch it just yet. Let's press the home button to go back to the home page as there's a few little settings we need to change. So let's press that home button on our remote. Now we're on the home screen. Let's go all the way to the right to the settings. Now within the settings, come down to My Fire TV and let's go into that. Once we're in My Fire TV, if you don't see Developer Options, you want to press About. And then here will be the name of your Fire Stick. Mine's just the Fire TV Stick Lite. What you want to do is press the Select button. This is the middle button on your remote. You need to press it about seven times. And you'll see this message here. No need, you're already a developer. Then when you come back, now as you can see, you can see Developer Options. And we want to go into this. So let's select Developer Options. Now, depending on which model of Fire Stick you have, this may look slightly different. However, it's all pretty much the same. ADB debugging is currently off. You want to go into this and turn it on. And then you want to come into install unknown apps. Now, all the models will just have a blanket turning this on and you just want to turn it on. Now, more modern Fire Sticks have it where you can turn individual apps on or off. So you want to come into this and then you want to select Downloader and you want to make sure this is on. Now we've done that, what you want to press is the Home button on your remote control of your Fire Stick to take us back to the home screen. Then we can come down to the recently used apps and we can select Downloader. And then you want to select Allow with this pop-up, then OK. Then that will be Downloader successfully downloaded to your Fire Stick. Before we delve into the installation process on the Fire Stick, let's discuss the legal and safety considerations and why adding a VPN may be a wise choice. Many unofficial apps like this operate in a grey area since they're not available on major app stores. Downloading from third party sources carries risks, such as malware. While my virus total scan didn't detect any issue, it's crucial to exercise caution. On the legal front, Things are complicated and there's no guarantee way to confirm the app's content permissions. To protect yourself, consider using a VPN like NordVPN when using the third party apps like this. The great news is that NordVPN can help you keep your data safe and secure. Plus Nord goes beyond just being a VPN, offering additional benefits such as freeing you from streaming restrictions. Don't miss out on the best VPN deal right now. Check out the links provided in the description to get started and stay protected. So now we need to sideload the application onto our Fire Stick and we do this with Downloader. 
and it's such an easy process and I'll walk you through it now. Now we're back in the download page, what you want to do is enter this code here exactly how it is on the screen. Don't put any extra spaces or anything like that, exactly how it is on the screen. Then come down and select go. It'll take you to a redirect page which will have a countdown and then redirect you to the download page and it should auto start downloading once it goes to that download page as we can see here. This is a quick process. Then this page should pop up and you need to press install in the bottom right hand corner. And the installation process is normally very fast on your Fire Stick. Unless your Fire Stick is full of applications, then it may be worth clearing some data from your Fire Stick. Once it's finished, you'll see this little pop up in the bottom right hand corner asking you to launch by pressing the three little lines on your remote. I don't recommend doing that just yet because we want to delete the installation file which will take up space on your Fire Stick. So we want to press done here in the bottom corner. And here is the installation file. We want to press delete and delete again. And this will take the space off your Fire Stick. So now let's add it to our favorites by pressing the home button on our Fire Stick remote and then coming down to my apps. Now let's find the application that we've just installed. Then press the three little lines on our remote. Let's select move and let's move it to the favorite bar here at the very top. Let's put it in the first position Press the select button to drop it and whenever you press the home button here will be the application ready to launch and it's much quicker to access it like that. If you ever want to delete the application from your Fire Stick it is very easy to do. First you want to navigate to the application. If you've added it to the favourites here you can come to it here or you can come to the applications and then my apps. Then you want to find the application you want to delete We'll use Nova in this instance and you want to press the three little lines on your remote control and this will bring up this sub menu and you want to come down to uninstall then you want to come down again and select uninstall. You then want to press OK on this page and it will quickly uninstall from your Fire Stick. So if you no longer want it on your Fire Stick that's how to uninstall the application. So now you should know how to install and uninstall Kodi on your Fire Stick. So if you need any more help leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help you out. Let us know if you want to see any other applications installed on your Fire Stick that you need help with also as we're here to help you out with all your Fire Stick needs. And don't forget to check out that link in the description for the best price on NordVPN which will keep you safe online and when you're using apps like this. If you found that helpful, don't forget to smash the like, hit the subscribe button for many more Fire Stick tutorials like this one. And thanks ever so much for watching.